Dartfeld's childhood was marred by the burning down of his hometown and the death of his parents at the hands of the Black Monster, which of course explains his hatred for energy drinks. He is an offensive unit, brandishing a broadsword and fire magic to burn through his enemies, and his primary weaknesses are his middling magic defense and speed. He's also a required party member, and unfortunately the new remaster does nothing to change this. So today, we're going to examine his value as a character when compared to his comrades. We ask, how good is Dart actually? The relative strength of Dart's human form changes throughout the game. In terms of physical strength, his power level compared to his peers improves as the game progresses. His physical prowess is at first somewhat middling. He has good additions, but a lower attack stat than Rose and Ash, <laughs> but a higher attack than Hashel and Shanna. However, as the game goes on, his strength growth increases, allowing him to surpass Rose around levels in the mid-30s. Hashel's strength, though, eventually surpasses Dart's, and Grandpa's higher speed allows him more chances to strike, leading to overall higher physical damage. But Dart makes up for a lot with his excellent additions. Quite early in the game, he gets access to Blazing Dynamo, which has a 450% attack multiplier and is on par with the final additions of Rose and Hashel. He also gets his most powerful weapon, the Soul Eater, reasonably early in the game. But this weapon is a huge drain, a suck fest, a health hazard. And by that I mean this weapon gives him an enormous power boost at the expense of continuous damage. This drawback forces him to either not use speed boosting equipment or frequently heal, wasting precious turns and lowering the party's overall damage. And unfortunately, his second best weapon, the Claymore, is a huge power loss. And it's quite noticeable when you compare it to the penultimate weapons of the other characters. So physically, Dart is good but not great, forced to choose between power and convenience. And on the magical side, Dart is initially less powerful than his female counterparts and is the best magic user among the boys. And as the game progresses, Dart's magic skill overtakes Rose's and Hashel follows suit. Ultimately though, Dart's talent is wasted on magic as there are other characters who perform far better in that role, namely Shanna and Meru, both because of their high magic stats and their high speed, allowing them to deal massive damage by spamming consumable magic items at a very high rate. Defensively, Dart is also a generalist. All of his defensive stats are in the middle of the pack, but his higher than average HP affords him excellent bulk. On the physical side, he is eclipsed by Ash and Kongol, who both boast higher HP and physical defense and equaled by Hashel. He's also far more physically bulky than any of the female characters, but on the magic side, it's a little more complicated. When compared to Kongol and Lavitz, though, he's clearly more magically bulky. Lavitz, though, can mitigate all damage with his Dragoon skills, and Kongol has a huge HP pool, meaning they both are less magically frail than they might seem. Dart is approximately equal to Hashel in magical bulk, and definitely loses out to Shanna. A comparison to Meru, though, is not as straightforward. Meru's health pool is far lower, so her higher magic defense is far less impactful. This leads to their overall magic resistance being approximately equal. However, Meru is once again Again, favored with a higher speed stat. That allows her to recover health more quickly with the defend command or with healing items if she's truly in a bind. So in human form, Dart lies somewhere in the middle of the pack. He can do good damage, but as a generalist, he's never quite able to compete with the other hard hitters of the game, and his most powerful weapon hinders him by continuously draining his health. Dart's Dragoon form suffers from many of the same issues that his physical form suffers from. He has middle-of-the-road attack and magic stats, and like all other Dragoons, speed boosts from any items he owns do not apply to his Dragoon form. On the plus side, though, his Soul Eater weapon will not drain his health while he's transformed. This allows him to take full advantage of its power without sacrificing survivability. His physical damage in Dragoon form is excellent, though he unfortunately only receives 150% base damage bonus in this form, limiting his power. Still, though, his Dragoon attacks can outdamage his regular additions if performed perfectly. However, Dart has better things to do when Dragooned than attack. Which is a nice segue into Dart's Dragoon magic. Now unfortunately, the base magic attack boost that Dart gets from his Dragoon form is a paltry 150%. His spells though make up for this weakness. His initial magic, Flame Shot, is a 50% damage spell and that power level is on par with the spells of other characters in the game. But in the early game, it's never the best choice with Rose around since she she can deal more damage than Dart can with her level 1 spell, which has an added bonus of providing a party-wide heal. His second magic, Explosion, is a 25% damage spell that attacks all enemies. And while this spell can be useful in destroying minor enemies in a boss battle, its lower power level makes it suboptimal. It's better to save Dart's MP so that he can use higher level spells. A far more efficient solution to minor enemies is to have one of your female party members or Dart himself throw a consumable magic item. 
Speaking of thrown items, do me a favor and throw your mouse at the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps my videos get to more people, and when I see a lot of subscribers from a particular video, I know to make more content like it. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Dart's third magic is Final Burst, which turns him into a fiery member of the Fantastic Four. Tulsi! Final Burst is a 75% spell that costs 30 MP, and it can dish out impressive damage to single targets. It's particularly potent when paired with the Special Command, and the plethora of water-based bosses in this game, along with a low number of fire-based enemies, makes this a great choice for bosses. It outdamages his Dragoon attack by far, and it can be used to chunk down bosses or used as a Hail Mary when resources are all spent and you need to deal a final blow. Dart's final spell is Red-Eyed Dragon. This spell attacks all enemies and at first glance appears to be the most powerful spell in the game. However, it contains an unfortunate typo that has not yet been fixed in any version of the game. It actually is not a 175% damage attack, but rather a 75% damage attack. Like all other dragon summons, it does create its own special field, boosting its damage significantly. However, it almost completely drains Dart's MP pool. This forces him to restore magic points if he's going to use another magic attack. Thus, in powerful single target situations, Final Burst is almost always the superior option unless you have a surplus of MP restoratives and choose not to special. Defensively, Dart gains huge boosts in Dragoon form, making him extremely resistant to all but the most powerful water spells. With any kind of healing, he'll likely have no problem staying alive to dish out a consistently high level of damage. This means that a defensive comparison to all of the other characters in the game is far less meaningful. The two exceptions, though, are Shanna and Kongol. Kongol is still far more physically bulky than Shulk is. I mean, Kongol is still far more physically bulky than Dart is, and Shanna maintains far more bulk on the magical side. Dart's Dragoon form is excellent, primarily due to Final Burst and his increased bulk. However, his other Dragoon attacks and spells represent a damage loss by comparison. There are also other characters who have more utility, better offensive magic potential, and more speed, and therefore are clearly better choices for a Dragoon. So overall, how good is Dart actually? His physical attacks are excellent, and he has strong Dragoon magic attacks that can quickly deplete an enemy's health. His status as an early Dragoon means he'll get his best spells early, and because he's in the party for every battle, he can potentially overcome his weaknesses by simply gaining more experience and levels than his comrades. His biggest weakness is his middling speed, which makes his mediocrity more apparent. With his best weapon, the Soul Eater, he has to choose between speed and survivability. Other characters, though, have strong weapons that have no downside. He's good, but he's definitely not the best. If this video helped you, the next video you should watch is definitely my tips and tricks video for The Legend of Dragoon. It'll help you bring out the full potential of all of the characters in the game. Okay, thanks, bye, see you later, have fun!